All right. Um, what I have here, I was trying to figure out. Uh, well, it's a computer power supply. Um, trying to figure out where it was made. Um, doesn't say. I'm going to take a guess. Uh, it was made in China. But anyway, I bought it brand new. Uh, installed it into somebody's computer form. Worked fine for about a week. And uh, I guess it shot a nice big uh, uh, blue flame and some sparks out of it. Uh, from what I was told. Checked everything else. It was fine. So uh, I think basically uh, got a bad power supply and I couldn't find out where anything blew. Uh, the fuse did blow. I replaced that with a piece of wire because eh, I'm just curious if it'll do it again, if it'll blow up. or It's going to get fixed the right way here in a few minutes probably anyway. Uh, it's got power in. Okay, and that would be um, that would be sparks. Uh, and that little capacitor there, right? Yeah. That little black capacitor that's still smoking. Um, would be what blew out. So, uh, I guess it does have a faulty board. So, got sparks on this one. I kind of figured it would do that. Um, so that means uh, that Ooh, that is a little hot. Um, that little capacitor's got to come out of there, um, and all these other bad parts. But and we all know how that's done. Um, got a wide selection of tools. That one's my favorite, actually. Okay. Okay, now, there's one capacitor. Ooh. Yeah, it burned through the metal there. We got parts flying. This fan doesn't need to be in there anymore. This is what I think of Chinese power supplies. So, whenever you get a Chinese power supply that does that, ah, this is the proper way to fix it. Thanks for watching.